Welcome back, everyone, to the thing that this... Bah. Start over. Welcome back, everyone, to the Immortal Gates of Pirate Braith game weekly, Alpha Edition number 20. I am your host, Dominic, or Shadow Fury, whichever you prefer, and we are going to be getting to the Losers Finals in two seconds, since... We're going to get into the Losers Finals now. On Frontiers, because Santa got to choose the map. I'll just let that sink in. Something magical. Well, magical's not playing right now. Well, nothing else has been a very... Oh. Nothing else has been a very educational game for how this... For issues that will be fixed in the next patch. <laughs> so... All right, so grudge match for Eatlander. They've, you know, they tried this before and it didn't work. But you know, second chance. Granted, it's Santa's pick a map, but second chance. Jarry and Orzen, last time we saw that Eatlander did manage, I think it was Canyon last time. So Eatlander didn't quite get the same approach. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it, it lender had a chance. It's more just like a gradual chipping away by Santa. Of course, this map at least have found is very good for thrones. I might just see Air Wars, like Throne vs. Sentinel. That really is the question. Oh. Let's get the bugs out of the way before the game starts. Alright. Again, this is alpha. These are alpha things. Alphas when things get tested and eventually sorted out. And also we get Xiphius, because why not? Hey, Zephyus. How's it going? Hello, hello. Hey. All right. Oh, there we go. Yeah. All right. Welcome, Zephyus, our co-commentator for today. A little late, but better late than never. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm, I don't know if I would say our co-commentator. I don't know how planned this was, but hey, here I am. Let's do this. Yeah. So. How are, they, are you liking these the games now? Since you worked on some of these changes, um, I'm loving the game so far. Uh, I haven't I've seen a lot of games lately. I haven't watched too many for this tournament in particular because it's been crazy with kids and family and everything. Yep. But 
I'm also noticing, are they just playing Frontier? No, they've been playing all the maps. Okay, Santa okay, likes okay. Frontiers, Itlander likes Canyon, Magical has been going for Frontiers as well. Oh, no, sorry, Santa liked Frontiers, sorry, Canyon. Santa liked Canyon, Magical liked Frontiers, but how hates Frontiers. Itlander <laughs> was going for I, primarily Canyon, and sometimes awesome. Lost Province. So awesome. no, it's been pretty even split. All right. Though all again, right. Frontiers at this point, Magical has learned to hate because the Thrones. Interesting. Yep. Oh, there's too much dead space for thrones to sit around and nothing, huh? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. That's that was the problem. Hmm. All right, that might be my fault, but uh, I'll look into that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, awesome, awesome. All right, so oh, yeah, this is the losers final. All right. So it is, the... and it's Santa Claus' choice of map, which is, I guess, they were having success in Frontier, so they decided to go for it. All right, so whoever wins this is the best loser. Got it. All right. Whoever wins this goes gets to fight magical. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. I, I just wanted to throw it out there. Ooh, a hidden reliquary. Is that? Is it like? Ooh, you don't. Angelarium, you don't yeah. know I'm going so so ocean, but I actually am. Oh no, wait, I... that's an angelarium. Holy crap! I'm. That's even off. bigger. <laughs> that's even yeah. bigger. Yeah, yeah. Although we have <laughs> seen some hidden. We had seen a hidden reliquary before, I think. That's cool. That's cool. All right, that is hidden. I feel I know like actually the names of the units now compared to the first time we cast. So that's nice. Well, that's good. I mean... Yeah, considering my job, I should know the names of you. It's like now. a Darcy. It's like, you don't expect <laughs> as much. I was... I, I, I actually had to make, like, a change. Okay, so right now, uh, you can upgrade Hallower speed even if you're a Jari. Uh, that's on the House okay. of Phoenix. And I, Does I that just, do anything? No, no, no. I, I just uh, okay. went into the, um, into the game engine and fixed that earlier today. Uh, it's not going to come out yet, though. But I was like, I was in there and I was like, crap, what's the building? What's the tech building called again? <laughs> you know, that you need this for? It's like, uh, Soul Foundry? No, it's like the pool. No, it's not that pool. It's a different pool. It's like, oh, yeah, there we go. House of Fanning Sense. So, yeah, it still takes a while. Okay. Oh, gets the denied on the tower. Forces Santa Claus to use some extra pyre. Hey, that rhymed, but I can't keep this going. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. I wanted, to, I wanted to keep it going, but I don't know how. Uh, gets pushed from the natural. You know he's all. No, oh, never mind. Okay, can't do it. Oh. <laughs> oh, that proxy warden though. Oh, and Itla, it's Itland, dude. I was a hundred percent sure he was Santa Claus because this is such a Santa Claus. Mm -hmm. thing oh, I did. know, right? But no, no, Itlander. Santa Claus has been playing very vanilla. They've been going for throne. Like, they've been playing like it was early pre-alpha, going for throne rush all the time. That's so funny. That's hilarious, though. Yeah, they haven't done a single cheese build, and they've been cheesed at a few times. Oh, no way. Oh, so it's not entirely true. No, no, it's not entirely true. There was a game on Canyon that they played, I think against Eatlander, where they did build some... I think that was them that built some side... Like, it just built, like, a... Yeah, that was a Hidden Saushin. That was the... Yeah, that's right. That had Legion Hall and a, ta and a tower. Legion Hall and Fire Singer just hanging out, and they're using that to set Saushin from the side. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, it... Didn't really work for them. Actually, it might have been against Magical. Oh. It might have been game one against Magical, now I think about it. Oh, all right, all right. Uh, all right. Are we... Uh, okay, okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. My, uh, my uh, getting 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 to see the game was a little bit tricky there. But it's back. Nice. So, oh. Dervish hmm. Warden. Interesting combination. I like it, though. It's like you are you are forcing your opponent to stay on their side of the map. They have to really respect you when you do something like this. You know what that, I mean? Uh, well, yeah, and not only that, Santa Claus has to find some way of stopping these wardens before it's too late. Yeah, because they're killing their main base. <laughs> yeah, if they lose that main base, that's a bit of a blow. If they lose both of them, that's kind of the end of the game. Yeah, that's the, that, that's the definition of the end game. How funny would that be if the wardens just sniped the <laughs> two main bases and the game is over? <laughs> well, Santa Claus is playing Warzone, so they, they were able to save it with their yeah. pyre, but still. Yeah. It's one he less saved tower it for Santa. His pyre to his heart's desire. <laughs> no, I'm going to stop that. <laughs> All right. I'm like, either go all the way or dump water. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right, right. You know, you got. <laughs> Okay, so it is a two base versus two base. If you look at the supply, it is still ahead. Uh, I don't know if his units are like of higher quality, if you know what I mean. Um, well, it's more a oh, question, yeah. I think, of positioning. Itlander yeah. is all set up over to the north side, uh, most set up the north side of the map, has a bit of a proxy going on, and is trying to be tricksy with the proxy, but hasn't actually managed to get a lot with that. 
other than you know the Force and Empire are broken. Yeah. But it's now this is a bigger deal. Wiping oh, out Santa's army. A lot of death. Oh yeah, boy, so Santa has no way to stop anything anymore. Catch up with this ocean. Like, you know, you, they leap on, slow down the units, and then, yeah, I'm just all gonna catch up right now. Yeah, they got the one Sephir versus the one <laughs> Safari. Uh, Ooh, not Safari. The Sephir. one saving grace me in the tower. Scepter and Sephir, that sounds a lot like the same. Now, you have to. Um, you have to make sure you don't lead your opponent into your proxy location. And he's almost yes. doing that! I think. Santa's probably clued in, but I don't know if Idlander cares. I mean, Idlander's yeah, so far ahead. It, as long as they keep Santa from actually killing anything, Santa knowing this isn't a big deal. Yeah, you found my second base. <laughs> it's like, what's Santa going to do? Send units to it? They already are. What's happening? They're dying. It doesn't make a difference. <laughs> there you go. Now, there's so much easy pirate for Nab in here. I don't know if he's going to even care about it. I've been, I've been, I, I've been playing lately, and... I've been like playing a jar and be like, oh, I can't do salvation. I don't have 200 pyre. And it's like, wait a minute. I don't need 200 pyre for salvation anymore. So it's, it takes a while to get used to. I mean, it helps if you have that much pyre. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. <laughs> Any pyre you can get helps. Apparently, there's a bug now where if if you saved your allied units, it calls the allied units pyre. <laughs> I don't know if that is that a bug? I feel that like one of those bug. things where you got to think of. Okay, because it feels like it, sort of a way to avoid griefing. It's like, like okay, it, your it, units it, die, it, but it's gonna cost you pyre for that. Yeah, yeah. No, it could have been a feature. I'm not saying it couldn't have been, but it was definitely not intended. So yeah, we're, okay. uh, yeah, yeah. Um, but it, I thought it was hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Shaoshin getting the tag. Oh, we, yeah. Ah, uh, all right. It is what it is. I'm loving the patch so far. I'm loving the changes. It seems to me this is this is the thing I love the most. That it seems to me that people aren't too put off by the economy changes. You know what I mean? Hey, people. Okay, so the thing that I, I was thinking about this the other day. The biggest difference is that before, you, if the economy change to happen before the production change, it would have been a problem. But because now you can yeah. only build like half of your production or half your supply at once, you have to go in two cycles. Yeah. The economy can go faster without making the game a complete mess where you can't yeah. take any. Because before, if that had happened, you simply could not take victories. But now you can still take victories. You can the economy change helps you come back a little bit more than before, so it means people can go around the map and attack. Like we're seeing, Atlanta do a lot of exploratory attacks. We have seen that a lot because they can get away with it. If they lose units, not the biggest deal because they can rebuild some. Mm. That's because of the economy change, which is an improvement over the last patch where exploratory attacks like this would be suicide. Well, unless you're a Jari and you can just save your units. Well, yeah, you, sure, but if you weren't a yeah. Jari, it was very yeah. easy to lose your entire army, and then that's just game. Yeah. Whereas now you can lose a significant chunk of your army and get back so long as you have an economy. But you don't, you don't get it for free if you don't have an economy, or you lose all your army. As Santa yeah, has yeah. just lost. Yeah. Wow. Itlander beating Santa. This is uh... hell of yeah, a level I... of Ridlander. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially after going two zero. Or oh, they didn't go. My bad. That was magical. They're fighting for a run back against magical. They haven't fought Santa the tournament yet. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I, I'm saying yeah, yeah, but I mean, I've only saw like right. a couple of. I saw I saw three times the last game. You know what I mean? <laughs> but that's yep. that's what I've seen. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I keep forgetting. It's like oh yeah, there was game one. It's game one, game two, game three, game three, and game three. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Which was oh, crap. It, kind of, it, like that's what I was wondering. When did Santa go for that proxy yeah, Legion Hall Saushin thing on Canyon? I, I know it was it happened, but I don't remember when. I think it was Santa. Like. Yeah. Honestly, it was like three hours. It was like two hours ago at this point. I don't know. <laughs> it's not the most stable patch right now. Hopefully, we can stabilize it more. I'm saying we, but it's not really me who's stabilizing patches. But yeah, right. Your um, design. Yeah. Well, it seems like Technos is up, so that'll be. I'd, I expect. I'd, lo I'd love to be able to, but yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. Oh. Never mind. Atlanta knowing what the proxy has actually been a bit of a problem. Sort of. Kind of, well, if they actually care. Because Santa Claus good. could just go for the kill. <laughs> yeah. No, Itlander could go for the kill, you mean. Sorry, yes. Santa, yeah, yeah. I'm bad. No, no worries. Again. I just want to make sure we're talking about the same person, that's all. Yes, oh, dude, we are. keep making thrones, though? Like, I don't... Well, it's the, it's the tech you've been going for, I guess, but like... Again, Itlander Santa's is... been going mass thrones the entire time. Yeah, okay. I, I think people underestimate how good it is. Like... Like, oh, you're making thrones, let me get the counter. It's like, oh, you're going to make... Oh, you have eight thrones now. Okay, the counter isn't even good enough versus this. You know, like, but... Um, Castigators, maybe, but there aren't any on the field. 
No. It's uh, it's pretty and crazy. Headliner's, oh. Headliner's getting caught out of position. Like their their units are spread out, completely out of formation. That aren't going to be able to take out the thrones that way. Spread. Yeah. Regroup. Regroup. Get defenses. There we go. Snipe out a throne. Maybe two thrones. Two thrones. Dodge the sword fire. Eatlander <laughs> has half the thrones down. The other half left. I mean, one more thrown down. Santa Claus has some reinforcements, but San Eatlander has the right position to stop them. Nothing is getting in their way. And Santa Claus has just lost everything they built up so far. Like, the entire army has been thrones. They have lost all of their thrones twice over. Yeah, this is this is over, I think. Like, Santa Claus has a throne or two, but he... Yeah. 21 supply, <laughs> right? Eatlander has salvation 90. on deck, too. Yeah, yeah. Have we had any games where they actually get max on the new max? I'm just curious. What? Like have max we had army? Any... Yeah, like, uh, so we increased supply, max supply. Oh, now, no, right? the highest is 175. Okay, okay. Well, that's pretty high. Uh, but, but remember, yeah. these are the 1v1 maps, and then the 2v2 maps we might end up... If we ever play on them again, we might see that. Yeah, yeah. But no, these maps are kind of small. Hmm. And, the, and uh, yeah, well, the maps are small, but... and players are being aggressive, and yeah, that aggression yeah. is being rewarded. Because, like I said, yeah. you can like Itlander attacking right now. Even if they lose their a bunch of their army, they can rebuild their army quickly enough. And Santa can't rebuild it fast enough to contest it as much because Santa has a disadvantage. Yeah, yeah. No, that's fair enough. Um, I was gonna say no. I've uh, on Frontier. I've had some games uh, when we were testing the patch before we released it. And uh, and I did get maxed. Uh, we ha had a really long epic game versus someone that was uh, yeah, it was a lot of fun. So oh, half half well, hour cool. with max with max armies versus max armies that was insane. Okay. Oh, the triple. Eatlander, Eatlander, Eatlander. Now's the time to like you have pyre. You can get or, or just walk. Fine, that works too. Yeah, yeah. You know that triple should be an achievement, man. Saying. <laughs> <laughs> you know well, I mean? when you guys add achievements, there yeah, you go. Yeah. You have one yeah, already yeah. on deck. Yep. Yep. Uh, if if oh. if anyone has any good ideas for achievements, just send them my way. <laughs> I mean, yeah, might as well. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm already. Yeah. Uh, okay, cool. So, uh, Itlander is basically very, very far ahead. There is a very annoying throne out there in the dead space. Um, Does not matter. Oh, Itlander it takes it. That is game. Oh wait, it's best of one. Best well, that oh, is game. That is match. Oh, it is best of one. Yeah, it I just forgot to turn the scoreboard off, but right. it's best of one. Interesting. Uh, do you mind if I hop into the lobby? Nope. Go for it. That's All right. It's just gonna be me on cameras right now, I guess. Uh, oh yeah. That's right, fine. There we go. Hey, here I am. If you want to, but I don't know if. You Yay! Can. There you are. All right. So we now are at Itlander, having beaten Santa Claus. Santa at third. Magical is going to fight the Eatlander on the run back, and Santa has not held on to their championship. Sorry, Santa. So I just have to type something real quick. I'll yep. be right back. Okay. So yeah, we're into the grand finals now. Or will soon be. We are now into the grand finals. Uh, we are at the grand finals. It's going to yep. be interesting. Okay, Lost Province. I haven't seen that much today. Which is not a phrase I ever thought I would say. <laughs> I'm loving that. Oh, I'm loving that. Finally! <laughs> finally we have maps that dethrone yeah. Lost Province as the map to play. How, how, do you have any idea how hard it is to balance 1v1 on 2v2 maps? <laughs> I think I do. Ridiculous. It's ridiculous. I think I've managed to glean an inkling of that. Yeah. It's just... It's just... Oh. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm so happy. Like... Like, yeah, let's balance this game mode with, like, three entrances to your main base and two entrances to your nationals. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of weird, What like, looking at both Canyon and Frontiers, especially New Frontiers, where it's like, how does this work with only one entrance? That 
Yeah, yeah. What kind of map design how, is that? How, how can I harass my enemy now? <laughs> yeah, like what the oh. heck? This isn't what? No, no. You actually have to make the Harrier and not just send a group of basic units to harass. Oh wow! Oh, you know what? That's actually that's a game changer. Yeah. See, that's the thing. Like, that's when I started playing. Oh, I like this Midlander going for Ether first. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's a, it's a new thing. It's the new a thing. Like build, it. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Sashin build and from Magical the um, uh, Icor, Icor Rush. Build. Yep. Icor, Icor Speed build. Important. Oh, this is cool. Yeah, the two the two day one meta builds. Saushin Rush ver er, Push yeah. versus Icor, the Icor Rush. Oh wait, it, Magical is not taking his. Ex oh, he is. It's just a little. Oh yeah, bit no. Yeah. yeah, there we go. Oh, yeah, because yeah, it's four hundred uh, now. It's a crap, bit was more that, expensive. Uh, I was gonna say something interesting though about maps, something. map design, Harriers. Yeah. Yeah, using basic units to harass. Yeah, 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 yeah. So when I, I when I started to play a couple of months ago, right, and and yep. like really try to get into the game, I remember like trying a Jari and be like, oh, a Jari has the the recall thing, you know, the uh, the deliver from evil. I should make Dervish, and then like go across the map and harass and then recall, right? And then I was yep. like, wait, crap, there's no point making Dervish to that. You just send over your. Everyone's like, just send over your Sipari man. It's like, oh. Oh, you don't have to make the harass unit to harass. You can just make units to harass. Yeah, like, the, that's, the harass that's units basically existed either to kill light units or be a bit better at harassment. Yeah, yeah. But not and really, it, yeah. It, and it's not like you can't harass with basic units on Canyon or... or, uh, or, uh, or from it's just there, harder to do like, the main base or natural. Yeah. Oh, and Itlon, they're actually... I thought Itlon was going to go for the expansion too, but this is straight up. Whoa. Straight up Russian. Oh, with a hidden. Oh, oh, oh! Wait, Magical what? Finds what? It. Finds the soul foundry. Oh, that sucks so hard for Itlander. They had a position. Was he absolver rushing? Is this like a blast that... from the past? I think it might have been. I didn't see any Saushin or anything. That there's not much else to be using the Ether on. So absolver rush. That seems like the way they were going. <laughs> oh, I love using the teapot to just send the last guy away, so you can't get the pyre. <laughs> Oh, beautiful, magical. All right. Yep, Absolver it is. Okay. Itlander has not slowed down. Interesting. Yeah, so Absolvers, uh, two big changes for Absolvers. Uh, one is that the deploy and deploy time is longer. Uh, there's an upgrade to bring it back to, right. to the old levels. And then there's also the, the attack is very different, where you can only attack one target from further away, and the closer unit gets, the more targets it can attack. Yeah, so, so Itlander uh, has to really get up close and commit in order to make the Absolvers useful yeah. and magical. So this, by design, shouldn't work. Because the Absolver is, at this stage, when it's it's supposed to be a more defensive unit at this stage. I'm not saying it won't, I'm not saying it won't work, but by yeah, design, well, we're going to find out. Work. We are going yeah. to find out what the yeah, yeah. real impact of this new patch is. Oh, how it is works that, out. Oh, oh, the Hunting Grounds, is it going to get up in time? It'll get up in oh, time. Oh, but but hey, this oh. is a two v two map. There are other entrances into your main, my friend. <laughs> yeah, and one of them just got blocked off by your opponent. Yeah. Is it okay? It's gonna keep going in. Uh, it's kind of hard to push in here though, because you have the Citadel and the Bastion basically covering, uh, quite nicely. It's gonna go no, for the gonna Bastion, try. I think, which makes sense because if you kill the Bastion, you like it's basically yeah, magical the loses half their economy. Yeah. Oh, the circle is still up. Wait, is Itlander just gonna I never got out? used, yeah. Dude, you know what? I love this. I love this. This is the sign oh, of Oh no, the position player. that absolver's too far for one of them's too far back. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Oh. But I like this. I like this like Okay, there's so many times. Used. So many times I lost games because I was like pushing too hard, pushing too com committing too much, you know what I mean? Uh, well, that being said, Magical knows the counter. Just build the resident, as we had yeah. before. <laughs> yes. Resonant good unit. And Absolver, not so much. No. All right, well, we them. certainly have seen the patch changes have done the thing they were intended to do. Absolver rushes do not work. Cha-ching! Glad to say that. Itlander is not, but then again, you know, he is from Sweden, and I'm from Norway, so I can make fun of it. It's okay. okay. All right. That's fair. Yeah, that's how it works. Sorry. Yeah. I'm allowed to do that, but no one else. That's how it yep. is. Yep. No, yeah. they, they did kind of conk you for a bit, I think. That's true. That's true. They, they owned us for like 100 years or something, so you know. Right. Yeah. yeah. We actually so I'm never quite war. sure who conquered who, because I feel like everyone in Europe had conquered everyone else at some point. Yeah, basically Denmark had Norway for a super long time, like 500 years or something. Mm -hmm. And then Sweden got Norway from Denmark after the Napoleonic Wars, because Sweden kind of, Denmark kind of lost that. 
Right. Uh, and then they forgot to take Greenland with them. So I mean, everyone south of the Baltic Sea lost the Napoleonic Wars. Let's yeah, be honest. Yeah. And then, and then Nor Sweden had Norway for like about a hundred years, like ninety or eighty years. And then mm -hmm. there was actually a freaking war to get out of Sweden. Uh, and that was only yeah, that like tracks. that's like nineteen oh five. It's not that long ago, actually. Oh wow! So right before World War One. Yeah. Yeah. No wonder Norway was yeah. neutral in a lot of the stuff. Yeah, it's like had, screw all y'all. <laughs> Oh, our own no, country the now. Dervish, the Dervish is being attacked by killed by the neutrals. Got stuck on that camp for a long time. Oh. Oh. That's unfortunate. Could not make the splash work. Yeah, no. Edeland is really in the back foot now. After, yeah. like, the failed absolver push, it's just magical. I mean, sure, it shifted magical's priorities a bit. They couldn't go Ikor, but they had the setup to go Ikor, which means they had the setup to or Ikor speed, which means they had the setup to go resonant, which means they blocked this off no problem. And they have fast Ikors. So raiding yeah. is a thing. Fast so are cute. insane. They are. And very cute. <laughs> They're very cute. I don't. I don't like killing them. You know what I mean? No. <laughs> Clearly, Atlander doesn't agree. Yeah. No. How dare he? How dare he kill those cute Icors killing his workers? Well, the moats are also cute. I don't know. Wait. Wait. What? Did he not get the pyre? Oh. No, I got the pyre. No, it's all popped was, up to was, grab it. Yeah, but there was like the pyre actually it was. On my screen, the pyre stayed on the screen for a long time after it was grabbed. It was weird. It was like some glitch. Ooh. I mean, this hmm. is a perfect game with no bugs. <clears throat> oh, yeah, absolutely. No, that's why it's yeah, an alpha. Yeah. That's what alpha means. Yeah, <laughs> yes, for sure. All right, so, you know, this is... We, we, were, we were hoping to get, like, a higher eco game on a bigger map with more bases and 2v2 and stuff, and no, not really happening so far. Like I said, the fact that you can... The higher eco means that it's... You can be a bit more reckless. Like, you can attack more. Yeah. Which means we're seeing a lot more attacks. We're seeing a lot more damage. We're seeing a lot less build up because you can get away with attacks without dying, but also applying pressure consistently is rewarded. On the other hand, I also want to say if you're, for example, awesome and you just want to stay defensive, you can do that as well and just build up a big economy. True. You know what I mean? Like, it, True. you have more options, so I like it. He's chasing Thrums with Wardens, which, you know, that I don't doesn't know. work. Yeah, it's like the Atlanter only has two units in their entire uh, in their entire <laughs> army that shoot up. <laughs> yeah. So Ma magical can basically just go do whatever they want right now. They don't. Have, they've got full map control. They can just stop Atlanta from her expanding anywhere, getting economy anywhere. Yep. Yep. So yeah, magical's magical's game to lose right now. They can sure, expand sure. up, build up, no big deal. So yeah, right now. Pretty similar supply actually. Magical though getting that third base is gonna That's gonna uh, ramp them up pretty quick. Yeah. Third Super base, fifth production structure, they can start really getting their arm fifth sixth, sixth, seventh pro yeah, they're no magical is they're going to be getting they're gonna be doubling Itlander's army in about two minutes if Itlander doesn't catch up. And Itlander only yeah, Itlander's not really on track to catch up. Like, Magical's current army is already able to contend, and they are getting bigger. Yeah. Yeah, this is going to be difficult. This is, uh, this is Itlander's, I mean, Magical's game to lose. Going to grab that pyre. It's going to be important. You really want, Salvation is really strong now. Just have to throw that up. It there. is. And I love it because We've seen it a few like, times, too. You just get to be reckless. <laughs> I just love, like, like, oh, I can just be reckless with my armor now. I, it doesn't matter if they, I can just be reckless. Yeah. It just feels so good. It feels so Actually, good. Actually, uh, you know, this is... I'm really impressed we're seeing Salvation so much because we hardly saw it last patch. Like, the yeah. Jari players are just not bothering because it wasn't really worth it for the duration. And now it's just, it lasts long enough and the cost is reasonable enough that we've been seeing, you know, Salvation versus Salvation fights. Salvation is a defensive option. It it really changes the calculus of things. Trying to think <laughs> oh! about how do you deal with Salvation? What? Oh, they got sniped! Yeah, they were flying over the old, uh, old, uh, Stock stalkers, all the hidden stalkers. Uh, at the same time, Itlander's getting wrecked by Magical's thrums. Magical doing exactly what Itlander tried. The Itlander actually has to fall back. Cannot pull that off. Oh, More harass from all sides. Magical, this feels a lot like Magical's games from before the patch. <laughs> it's like, man, you open up Zolver and it just completely reverts back to the last patch, even with, you know, Mass Saushin and everything. It's like, nope, yeah. nope, we're going... Bone Stalker Resonant, because we've set up for that. 
Dude, Bowstalker Resident will never be bad, you know what I mean? Like, That's true. Solo, That's true. So it's gonna work. Uh, but I'm super happy to see Salvation though, because you know we were really worried. Do we need to make a different ultimate for Adari? No one's really using it that much, you know what I mean? So, yep. so just seeing it being used, seeing people enjoy it, seeing some cool gameplay with it, it's like super nice for me. Like, okay, cool. Maybe we can keep this design. Maybe, maybe it's fine. Right now, that's, that's very nice. Seems to be. Yeah. Like it's a very strong design. Like it, it definitely feels like an ultimate ability when you're yeah. fighting against it. It's like you just can't, you cannot fight Adari's army. Yeah. Well, you can, but you they're can... gonna come back. You know, like, yeah, which can be, uh, which has it depends on where you place the jury, but it can be a problem. We seem oh, yeah. getting back. Oh. Now's time to use it, but Idlander does not have enough. Goes for the Heavens Aegis instead to at least save their units. But so many tag ooh, blood, blood, from I, uh, Yep, that's uh, that's giving Idlander a chance to get away. Yeah, Magical yeah. armor being slowed down is the one thing that saved Idlander there. Oh, it's Idlander's time to go for Thrones, but there's so many Bone Stalkers though. Oh, oh, no, ah. no, 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 no. Oh, throne. Into the ambush. Oh, down the th Shot down that throne. Yeah, this Man, is such can't wait for this. battle. I know it sounds morbid, but for when it comes to death animations, I'm really looking forward to, like, throne and Shari, oh, yeah. like, the really big flying units. Yeah. And behemoth as well. Like, big flying units, how they, like, crash or whatever. I agree. It's going to be awesome. That's going to be cool. Oh, man. Dude, look at... Uh, Stop the hunting try, grounds as try. well. Go for a flank, but it's not really a flank when you. Oh, okay. Actually, this is a flank. It is, but the hundred grounds is up, so that's extra damage. And that extra damage is that going to hold it? Resonance are getting heavily damaged. One goes down. Second one is still up and still oh, kicking. It's play. surrounded. It's covered. That is it. Itlander's force has been wiped, and Magical takes game one. GG. Best of five. Best of three. Best of five. Uh, but, but Magical has, Magical has to win. Over. Yes, exactly. Yeah, so this is kind of 2-1, right? Kind of, yeah. Yeah. Or no, All not 2-1, right. because it lander has... This is 2-0. Yeah, 2... Yeah, I, sorry, sorry, of course. I meant 2-0. I didn't... I don't know why I said 1 there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I okay, see. Okay, it lander is fine with Lost Province again. Oh, no. No, don't be fine with that. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see other maps. I want to see the like, no, canyon. canyon! Canyon looks so cool! Come yeah, on! Go. Come we on! We don't have enough canyon. We just yeah. started seeing canyon. It actually works now. Come on, yeah. it's a canyon. Right. Oh, well, whatever. Oh, well, yeah. No, it is interesting to see this patch on Lost Province, though, because, like, the patch wasn't made with Lost Province in mind because it is a 2v2 map. You know what I mean? Right. Well, it's made for... Well, it's, it's made for 2v2 2v2 on Lost Province, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah but not 1v1. <laughs> so it wasn't made for Lost Province. Nope, no, Lost Province is abandoned now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're going to make a patch specifically that's horrible to play on Lost Province. <laughs> yeah, it's just it, every map has the same balance feet or the same like unit numbers and everything except Lost Province. Lost Province works like early pre alpha where it's all thrones and zephyrs. Right, exactly. That's how we're going to do this. All right, so they're going to be double Mala. <sighs> but Which I'm is a, it's a bit of a surprise for Itlander. Uh, Yeah, I think so. Oh, no, 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 never mind. No, 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 no. That's not too much of a surprise. Itlander has been playing Mala before. My bad. Magical plays everything, so... Yeah, Magical I plays actually... everything. Ma Magical's been jumping between Mala and Ajari in this last patch. Interesting. I actually asked I actually asked Ma uh, Magical uh, earlier today what his favorite faction, to, uh, Immortal, to play was. And he was like, he was kind of wiggling around, like, nah, I love to play every faction. I was like, okay, but, you know, if you really had to choose, like, one favorite Immortal, it was like, okay, Zol. So, I... Uh, which uh, which is interesting because we have not seen them play Zol today. We've seen them yeah, play yeah. a bunch. I don't think so. Might, maybe once, but we've seen them play so much Mala that if we have play, seen them play Zol, it's been once, and it didn't matter much. He did play Zol last game, though. Oh, you're right. right? I yeah, silly. Yeah. Yes, we haven't seen them play it much, but we have seen them play it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, no, and, and and that's the thing. Like favorite immortal doesn't mean playing it a lot when it comes to magical. Cause, no, you know, want to be good with all the all the all the immortals, all the factions. Right, teapots are so bright. Yeah, this. Th there I get indirect lighting, weird. but I think there's something with the ambient lighting term. Oh no, it's think, PBR, so it's not. I think what's actually, the indirect lighting. what's actually happening is I think that uh, the units themselves light up a little bit, and it's a visual bug. Oh, oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, this is not something that. Because um, part of it I can the, tell is the indirect lighting from the ground. Probably. But otherwise. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. Teapots are very bright. Yeah, uh, they are. They are very bright. They are short and bright. 
Um, yep. Yeah. Like intelligent fireflies. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Keep us like intelligent fireflies. Dude, the, 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 the words of wisdom just keeps flowing out of your mouth today. I try. <laughs> not hard, but I try. <laughs> yeah. All right, so we're going to have some mass hunters, not surprisingly, versus probably... Oh, versus straight up Icar, which... Yeah, you know, Magical's thing against... I mean, we saw before in the winner semifinals between Magical and the Atlander, Magical was getting a lot of success by going heavy on the Icor speed rush. Mm. Mind you, that was on Frontier. Yeah. Lost Province is not... I don't know if it works as well. I, I think it should work even better, to be honest. When you have that many entrances into your that's, opponent's That's that's a good point. Yeah. Yeah. This should, this should be fine. Oh, double symbiote to chase down the teapot. He does not want to. Oh, he's hiding the he's hiding the bone uh, the crap the bone canopy. Yes, thank you. That's bo oh, bone. I see. Yes, it landers hiding the bone canopy because magic is yeah. not going for it, which that is surprising. Is Magical usually goes for bone canopy by now. Other this, uh, no, they... you, I don't. I, yeah, I don't know if you can afford that when you're going for that fast, like a rush, and also have Bone Canopy going right now. Yeah, um, they could. Yeah, I guess technically, but you wouldn't have that many icars. Oh, but you got that's the, true. It's I guess six icar, three else. thrums, roughly what they tend to go for. Yeah, I like the I like the thrums though because this is this will eventually counter the icars. It's just gonna take a while. Oh yeah, it's that. That's magical has been going for like it's like six to eight icor into three thrum. As that's been their big build, especially against the Atlander, and it's worked really well. And this game is no exception. <laughs> it's it's kind of like, you know, what beats Icor Thrum is just just thrums. You know what I mean? <laughs> like yeah. more thrums than the opponents have thrums. Which is what Atlanta's going for. They got two thrums on the way. He really should and make the call. Okay, he's making one to call. All right, good. <laughs> I rarely say those words, but you know, in this case, well, that yeah. they're supposed. To do the the the, the, the yeah. fight the Icor. That's what those calls are for. Is the anti anti light? Yeah. Okay. Here comes the thrums. Are you actually gonna? Yeah. There we go. Nice. Oh, there's so many speed Icor though. So... <laughs> oh, they gotta decimate. The yeah. Speed just got die. upgraded. Just got the speed upgrade. Oh, but the Sakal plugging the hole. Good job, Sakal. Oh, don't. Hey. Don't Only lost two thirds of their economy. That was too bad. A net win for our fair Atlander. Yeah. Let's go, Sweden. All right, so uh, uh, okay, there we go. More thrums. Ooh. This is good. That tower though is actually really annoying. That's a, I mean, the call block's working out though. To be fair, yeah. the tower's annoying, but it's not. It's not being too big of a problem. Bloodwell has been seeded. There we go. Magical with has thrums, so they can start going in and harassing further. As long as Eatlander doesn't get hit too hard by the harassment, is able to block out the thrums from Magical, then. There is a chance for Atlanta to get back in this game. For sure. Uh, I think, like, these Thrumps, even if they don't do economic damage, it's going to keep Magical on his feet. It's going to have, you know, force him to go for some counters. Yeah, it's forcing him to put up some defenses, making a lot of Thrumps of his own. This feels like Zerg versus Zerg. It feels like <laughs> Icors are the Zerglings and the Thrumps are the Mutalisks. You know what I mean? Uh, oh, a little bit. Oh, then you need Arox, you need the Scourge, you know, to counter. Oh, You dude, do, and oh. we're not seeing that. Oh, dude, so let's go. right now, just up to micro, magical, some solid pullback. Eatlander f retreating, trying to regroup, and oh. getting the Aerox themselves. So oh, Eatlander with the Aerox. Aerox is not on magical's menu. When I'm saying Zerg versus Zerg, I mean in, in Brood War, though, right? In yeah, Star yeah, yeah. Two, it's quite different. No, Zer Zergling, Mutalisk, Scourge, yeah. and then if it goes late game, which it only does like once every hundred games, Devourers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Which don't so have an equivalent. Oh, but Red like, Harvest oh popping, my... magical, forcing the retreat for Atlander. Oh, it's gonna lose so many mass hunters. Oh, there comes the Arox! <gasps> Thrums, gotta be careful. Atlander oh, clearly trying to avoid dude. killing too much so far, but it's, it's at the major cost themselves. Red Harvest for Atlander as well. A little bit late on their end, though. Uh, attacking the Queedle, unfortunately. You want to get the Thrums. Is the Thrums of Magical still gonna survive after those I two I think so. Arrows? Look at that. Yeah, a little bit. Oh, more Arox though. More Arox. Okay, the Arox in. will finish them off. Oh, there you go. But the Red Harvest didn't do a whole lot of good for Atlander. They've barely held on. It's Pyrrhic victory on their part. As Magical is able to get the third and take map control off that attack. Dude, this is awesome. I feel like the only way to get out of this state in the game is to get a lot of Wraith bows. You know what I mean? Like yeah, or th th yeah, because Mallet doesn't have underspines. So yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, underspines are so slow. You know, <laughs> like <laughs> they are. But if you can bait your opponent into that, into where they're deployed, then yeah. 
sell your opponent's air units, and then they kill them. Speaking of slow, actually, you know, going for oh, crap, it's Ma Mala's Red Sear, not Red Sister. Oh, I forget. It's Red Sister's Mala, Red Seer is the default. Crap, I was wrong. Yeah, of course. So, if you get for the Dread Sister, so you can use the slow on the thrones, that's going to be huge as well. Which seems to be exactly what Magical has in mind. They have their Red Veil up, they have their. Not Dread Sisters quite yet. They're just going for the Mass Hunter instead. But that also yeah, you... is good anti here, so. Either way. You can't. You kind of need just to get mass hunters because you're going to float a lot of aloe going for this. Um, but Magical has the third base up now, and that is going to be uh, huge. Um, Itlander not even close to third base. No, Itlander could try to take a third base. Like It would be an extremely risky move, but they're going to have to do it pretty soon. Like Magical's... <laughs> oh, whoa, okay. Magical's losing their harassment forces. That's, giving... That's going to give Itlander a fair bit more room to build a third if they want to. Yeah, for sure. And but we are having some thrown harassment here. But oh, these are these are oh yeah, these are dead. Or are they? Oh, oh you don't want to try. And, this is not scourge. You can Oh, dude, it is scourge. Yes, dude, it is. Micro. Look at that I mean, micro. Damage was dealt, but man, magical. Yeah, got the got the kiting. Yeah, yeah. All right, Itlander, it's time to take your third base. One hundred. Like this, literally yeah. right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, not no, not third. another production structure like you just did. Another third base. Oh, I looked this up. You know, I was talking about Zerg vs. Zerg, and then you have Resonance marching around. I was like, Zerg vs. Zerg, if they had siege tanks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, that's why I tried. I've just given up on StarCraft comparisons. That's fine. That's fine. It's like, it's just going to get messier as the next factions come yeah, in. Yeah. This is the only yeah, two that are even remotely close. Yeah, it, I just got so excited seeing this, you know what I mean? But Yeah, yeah I, know. I know. I used to play Zerg, so I get it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, me too. All right, so... Oh, dude, that's so many thrums, though. Even with all those mass hunters, all that thrums from Itlander. He's really got air dominance now, and he's going to pick up one of the resonance. Oh, maybe. Almost. Rain of blood coming in. Oh, the red harvest is... Okay, there it goes. Finally getting a little bit of value off the red harvest, but not much. No. Still, it could be enough. Rain of blood is not providing a whole lot of value here. Small upgrade for magical. It's just not going to be enough for the numbers. Itlander does not Chuck care about the root, doesn't care about the damage. Goes for it. It doesn't matter though. Magical still holds the line, takes the game, takes the tournament. GG. And to answer your question in chat, uh, the route from Dread Sisters do work on air units. Yes. Yes, it works very well against air units. If you see a lot yeah. of time Aru against Karath, you'll see root used against thrones because it means the thrones are stuck and just get wrecked. Or Sharu. Either way, they get stuck, they get wrecked. Huge amount of alloy loss for your or ether loss for your opponent. For sure. All right. Well, it was fun casting those last couple of games. It was fun seeing all sorts of different tactics. I have to say. Uh, oh yeah. It's it's the game feels very like Fresh. vibrant now. Yeah, but yeah. like, I gotta be a little bit cautious though because it's also probably because you know new patch people are just trying things. You know, it doesn't mean everything works. Uh, but right. it's still really really cool. Gotta love, gotta love this part of the game when everyone's figuring out the game again. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Well, that is going to be it. So thank you to all of you signed up for the tournament. Congratulations to Magical for winning, Eatlander for second place, and Santa for third. Although I guess commiserations for Santa, but either way. And thank you to thanks, thanks Avius for popping in for the last couple of games. Really nice my my pleasure, my pleasure. And thank you all of you for watching. And until next time, have a good night, everyone. Take care.